Today, India celebrates her women in science. However, a pioneering name in science that remains largely forgotten outside of academia is that of Indian botanist and cytogeneticist Dr. Janki Amal. Dr. Amal was born in Telicherry, Kerala. She inherited a curiosity and love for the natural sciences from her father, Divan Bahadur E.K. Krishnan who was a sub-judge in the then Madras presidency and possessed a keen interest in science. After completing her schooling in Telicherry, Kerala, Janki moved to Madras where she completed her bachelor's degree from Queen's Mary College and an honours degree in botany from Presidency College in 1921. Shortly after, Janki started teaching at Women's Christian College where she was selected for the prestigious Barber Scholarship offered at the University of Michigan. Dr. Amal was among the few women who chose her career over marriage, a rather brave decision in those times. She completed her master's in botany, which was followed by a doctoral thesis on the same. She returned to India as a professor of botany at the Maharaja's College of Science in Trivandrum. Her quest for knowledge led her to join the sugarcane breeding station in Coimbatore, where she used her expertise in cytogenetics to create a high-yielding strain of sugarcane that would thrive in India. Owing to her brilliance, Janki was selected as a research fellow under C.V. Raman, but she had to constantly fight off gender and caste-based discrimination during the course of her career. Impressed by Dr. Amal's work, the Royal Horticulture Society invited her to work as a cytologist at their campus in Visley, England. In 1951, the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru personally invited her to return to India and restructure the Botanical Survey of India. She accepted the offer and helped enhance efficiency at BSI. Dr. Amal never shied away from exploring even the most remote regions of India in search of plant lore of indigenous communities. She also spent time in Ladakh to explore methods of sustainable agriculture at high altitudes. In addition to being a remarkable scientist, Dr. Amal was also an environmental activist. She took part in various protests that were held against environmental damage, one of which was the protest held against the building of a hydropower dam across the river Kuntipura in Kerala's Silent Valley. In 1955, Dr. Amal was the only woman invitee to the landmark International Symposium on Environmental History, titled Man's Role in Changing the Face of the Earth, held at Princeton. For her exemplary contribution to science in India, Dr. Janki Amal was awarded the Padma Shri in 1977. In 2000, the Ministry of Environment and Forestry created the National Award of Taxonomy in her name. Her legacy is a tremendous inspiration for women in science everywhere.